Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the live today. It's been a while, almost a little over a week. I was supposed to conduct this live yesterday, but sochte, 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 time nikal gaya, and by the time I realized that let's go ahead with the live, it was already midnight yesterday. Then I thought of going live today, sometime like two hours back, but then I thought might as well go out. कंप्लीट माई वर्कआउट जो कि नहीं हो पाया सो आई थॉट माइट एज वेल फिनिश विद द लाइफ फर्स्ट एंड देन पर मूव आउट एंड फिनिश विद द वर्कआउट एज वेल राधा क्विकली सो वेलकम एवरी वन टू द लाइफ एज यू कैन सी विद द एज यू कैन सी इन द डिस्क्रिप्टिव सेक्शन द लाइफ टूडे इज अबाउट रूल्स ऑफ द रोड एंड द रूल विच वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टूडे इज रूल नंबर थर्टीन बिकॉज maximum queries come from rule number 13 what if this vessel is overtaking me in this area what am i going to do so on and so forth so today's live is going to be about rule number 13 overtaking rules of the road and for people who are not directly related to merchant navy and are still watching this live well for you guys when two ships overtake each other well there are certain rules of engagement there are responsibilities between two vessel engaged and we are going to just talk about jahaj ek dusre ko overtake kaise karte hain how do ships overtake each other what are the rules of engagement who is supposed to stay clear just like you have rules for the cars jahan responsibility are not as clearly defined but even in the even in case when you are driving a car you are supposed to maintain your lane you are supposed to give an indicator before changing the lane likewise as a as a ship uh, when when two ships are involved in overtaking situation there are certain rules which are involved the idea of rules of the road is collision nahi hona chahiye safety of the crew safety of the ship and safety of navigation is the tagline of or the underline of every rule if we can say now quickly coming to rule, rule number 13 and specifically to rule number 13 in case you guys have any questions feel free to shoot them feel free to ask coming back to rule number 13 jab aap road pe scooter chalate hain bike chalate hain car chalate hain anything you are always watchful and you are always looking at the rear view mirror to check whether if somebody is there right behind you is it safe to take a turn or take a u turn and what do you guys do first you look into the mirror see if everything is okay then you give the indicator and then perhaps then you commence your turn and complete it so we are mindful likewise when we are driving and we are looking ahead we are always looking for these indicators if somebody is trying to turn right especially if they are trying to cut across a lane you know chorai par you know in, on an intersection somebody trying to cross the lane taking a left so we are very careful mindful likewise when we are at sea we are mindful about how we are going to engage in different situations now the most common situations in which you can engage with other vessel or in general even if you are driving a car on the road or a two wheeler is either you are going to meet the other fellow head on ya nearly head on thoda idhar udhar ya samne wala banda aapko cross kar raha hoga say like at a crossing intersection somebody is trying to cross Ahead of you, you are trying to cross ahead of someone else, and the third interaction can be somebody coming from coming from uh, behind and trying to either overtake you or you are trying to overtake them or you have already overtaken them, and then the course you 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 are going to pursue your course of journey. On a very similar line, this is what happens even out at sea. You can interact with us with a, with a with a vessel ideally in three different ways. Either you will be meeting them head on or nearly head on. or you will be involved in a situation when they are trying to cross ahead of you or you are trying to cross ahead of them and the third situation of course comes when somebody is trying to overtake you or you are trying to overtake someone now in general coming to the rule number 13 let's first of all read what rule number 13 says point by point and again <laughs> drift bhi maar sakte hain actually ship drifts yes you are right when the ship takes turn when you are altering the course the ship is not just maneuvering in that exact line in which you have given the rudder angle it doesn't the point doesn't follow the exact circle it drifts as well definitely it drifts it drifts and continues with the turn so definitely if you are talking about the drift 
the ship of course drifts drifts all the time it is and it is what you're trying to check as a master this you're trying to prevent the ship from drifting all right so coming back to the rule let's see what rule number 13 says first of all we need to remember guys rule number comes in part b okay and section 2 okay so at all times you have to remember that rule number 13 is applicable when the vessel is in sight of each other remember these 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 keywords guys rule number 13 is applicable when two vessels are involved in risk of collision and in sight of each other so rule number 13 कब एप्लीकेबल नहीं होगा रूल नंबर थर्टीन विल ओनली नॉट एप्लीकेबल इन केस ऑफ रिस्ट्रिक्टेड विजिबिलिटी विच इज रूल नंबर नाइनटीन और अगर आपको रूल नंबर नाइनटीन से रिलेटेड क्वेरीज है सो यू नीट टू गो बैक एन द वॉच एंड यू नीट टू गो बैक एंड वॉच माई लाइफ ऑन रूल नंबर नाइनटीन सो टू थिंग्स बिफोर वी स्टार्ट विद द लाइफ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल रूल नंबर थर्टीन इज अ पार्ट ऑफ सेक्शन बी पार्ट बी सेक्शन टू एंड सेक्शन टू इज टू पावर टू वेसल्स वेन दे आर Involved in the risk of collision in sight of each other. Vessel needs to be in sight of each other. So any situation which you create in your mind, remember, is only applicable when you are trying, when you can see the other vessel. I mean, like uh, visually, when they are in line of sight, when they can see each other. Not in case of restricted visibility. Apurva, welcome to the life. आप अपने ship का महंगा data मेरे life के ऊपर खर्च कर रही हैं. So thank you very much and all the best. You have just joined and the only rule of the road in your cases safety first and be very very careful because you are new so a big shout out to apurva she has just started her onboarding and i hope she enjoys her sea career as much as i have and many others thousands and millions like me have okay coming back to the rule rule number 13 is section why am i repeating because all your answers will be in these two words is applicable part b section 2 inside of each other now let's read the rule the rule says overtaking part a not withstanding anything remember the word guys ye sabse important part hai aur yahan tum log dhang se nahi padhte ho isliye tumhare sare questions aate hain last time life pe mere kisi ne pucha tha what if nuc is overtaking me if you read part a correctly 99% of your queries will be answered now what part a says not withstanding anything means not withstanding matlab kuch bhi jo in parts mein likha hai not withstanding anything kuch bhi likha ho contained in the rules of part b part b mein kaun se rules hain section 1 hai section 2 hai aur section 3 hai section 1 is rule number 4 till rule number 10 okay section 2 is i hope i am not mistaken rule number 11 till rule number 18 okay so anything in section 1 and section 2 any vessel overtaking any other shall keep out of the way of the vessel being overtaken yani agar aap kisi jahaj ko overtake kar rahe hain you are supposed to keep out of the way irrespective of what is written in part in section 1 and section 2 now what does section 1 consists primarily section 1 consists two rules which will which are more of engagement based narrow channel and tss so irrespective what is written in rule number 9 and 10 and irrespective of what is written in rule uh 11 12 13 11 12 14 15 16 17 and 18 responsibility and remember guys only not withstanding what is given in section 1 and 2 not in part a what is part a पार्ट ए में रूल टू आता है रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ठीक है ना पार्ट ए पार्ट ए में आता है डेफिनेशन ऑफ द वेसल सो द दीज रूल्स आर स्टिल एप्लीकेबल बट वॉट इज रिटर्न इन सेक्शन वन एंड टू रूल थर्टीन कैन प्राइमरीली सुपर सीड दैम नाउ वट कैन बी दो सिचुएशन विल कम बैक टू दैम लेटर सो नॉट विथ स्टैंडिंग वॉट इज रिटर्न इन एनीथिंग इन पार्ट बी ऑफ सेक्शन वन एंड टू सो इन केस यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज रूल थर्टीन विल dilute that so if a ram vessel is overtaking you she is supposed to stay clear irrespective of what kind of vessel you are so any vessel which is overtaking the word is a vessel if any vessel is overtaking other shall keep out of the way 
so rule number 18 will not be applicable it, it will be superseded by rule number 13 if you are a sailing vessel rule number 12 rule 13 overtakes if you are talking about rule 9 or any engagements as per rule 9 or rule 10 rule 13 will be the final say that it will supersede those rules but what will not be superseded by rule 13 is anything which is written in part a of the rule okay so application second is responsibility and third is the definition of those rules okay so remember rule one out maneuvers anything what is written in responsibility rule 18 jahan se aap maximum confusion lekar aate ho what if a fishing vessel is overtaking me what if a nuc is overtaking me what if a cbt cbd is overtaking cbd does not matter rule 13 will still take priority so that means the one who's going to overtake me is going to stay is 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 supposed to keep out of my way not stay clear keep out of my way now part b says a vessel shall be deemed to be overtaken when coming up with another vessel from a direction more than 22.5 degrees above her beam okay now again maximum questions yahan se aate hain part b se what if the other vessel is exactly at 22.5 what should i consider the rule says theoretically a vessel is considered to be overtaking when she's coming up at a direction more than 22.5 degrees above my beam. What is beam? Beam is 90 degrees. This is my vessel. If I draw a per per perpendicular, this is 90 degree. And if I go 22, 22.5 degrees above, so any vessel which is coming at a direction which is more than 22.5 above the beam is considered to be overtaking. So if there is a right stern, hai, yeah, any angle which is more than 22.5 above the beam, she will be considered as an overtaking vessel. And any vessel exactly at 22.5 or more than that is going to be considered as crossing. Okay. But if in doubt, you are supposed, we'll come back to that. I'll, I'll not confuse. So remember, the wording is very clear at a direction more than 22.5. It has to be more than 22.5. So if 22.6 view theoretically, so you are a overtaking vessel okay in such a position with the reference to the vessel she is overtaking that at night she would be able to see only the stern light of that vessel but neither of the side neither of her side lights now guys i told you in the last live it's very very important that you read rule number 13 very very carefully sorry rule number 3 very nicely now you see we all know what is the visibility of a side light we all know what is the visibility of a stern light stern light if we make 360 degree banai, ek gola so in that gola one part will see stern light and the rest of the gola will see side lights dekhengi. it is very easy to interpret in the night whether you are overtaking or not because 22.5 if you remember above the beam from right forward is exactly the visibility arc of your side light and if i combine the arc it will be the visibility of your mast head light yani 22.5 above the beam on either side and all the way ahead of the vessel for side light 22.5 above the beam and all the way till right ahead so in the night only thing which you should be able to see when coming up other the uh, coming up other vessels should be your stern light because stern light ka visibility degrees kitna hota hai 132 yani agar aa isi liye isme bola hai at a direction more than 22.5 okay that is the reason they have told you that you have to be coming at a direction more than 22.5 that means you should be only able to see the stern light of the vessel if you can see the side lights that means you are a crossing vessel but this is easier to do in the night because you can see the lights in the night what about daytime the aspect is never easy to identify. You cannot draw a line and say that this is how it appears. So during the daytime, you have to check by the bearing, theoretically, okay? But in the nighttime, it's rather easy and that's why they've created the sector of, of lights that it overlaps with this rule. Or rather the rules overlap with the sectors of those lights. So, when we look side light, we see the right head and the 22.5 above the beam. If we go back to the light, we will see the color of the light. We will not be able to see that light. Then which light will be able to see? We will be able to see only the stern light. So if we are a stern of the vessel 
एंड इफ वी स्टे स्टर्न ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट फाइव डिग्रीज अब द बीम यानी अगर हम इस डायरेक्शन से पीछे रहेंगे तो हमें साइड लाइट दिखेगी नहीं विल कंटिन्यू टू सी ओनली दी स्टर्न लाइट ऑफ द वेसल इन द कलर ऑफ दैट लाइट इज व्हाइट डिस्टिंगटिवली डिफरेंट यू कैन नॉट कंफ्यूज इट विथ इधर ऑफ द साइड लाइट बिकॉज साइड लाइट के कलर क्या होते हैं ग्रीन एंड रेड रेड टू पोर्ट एंड ग्रीन टू स्टार बोर्ड सो ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट फाइव अबाउट द बीम ऑल द वे टिल राइट हाइड यू विल बी एबल टू सी वन लाइट 22.5 above the beam, all the way till right side. You will be able to see right uh, uh, other side light, and 22.5 on either side, all the way from here to here on an arc, you will be only be able to see mast head light. So, yani, पीछे की light अगर आपको कभी भी दिख रही है, in the night, that means you are a overtaking vessel. That's why it overlaps. So remember, अगर आपको कभी भी doubt हो रहा है, you can still recollect by thinking aloud in your mind that what is the sector diagram of Side lights. So any time you are coming at a direction more than twenty two point five degrees above the beam, you will be considered as overtaking. Such that in the night, जब bearing लेना थोड़ा मुश्किल होगा, that you can see only the stern light, okay, of that vessel, but neither of the side lights. Now some of you will say that in theory there is always an overlap. We will we are not talking about exemptions as of now. We'll come back to that later. What does Part C says? When a vessel is in doubt as whether now again, this is again the answer of many of your questions. So read it very carefully. When a vessel is in any doubt as to whether she is overtaking another, she shall assume she shall assume that such is the case and act accordingly. What does the rule mean here? That if I am in doubt means if I am theoretically exactly at twenty two point five degrees. then i should assume that i am overtaking and stay clear see the idea of the rule in the beginning of the live i told you the idea of the rule is to prevent collision safety of life safety of vessel safety of environment safety of navigation so they have written the rule in a way that come what may you should not end up in a close quarter situation or in a situation where risk of collision results in a collision so if you are in doubt if you are exactly at 22.5 now isme do situation ban sakti hain people get confused between crossing situation and overtaking in real life as well that am i overtaking am i crossing then what is going to happen now let's assume you are on this vessel you see one vessel coming a stern of your ship doing more speed now let's assume she is exactly 22.5 exactly for some reason she picture perfect bearing 22.5 What does the rule says? He can see that he is exactly at twenty two point five. Theoretically, you are crossing. But what if you have a doubt in mind? You are coming twenty two point five, then going to twenty three, then maybe going to twenty two point four, twenty two point three. Then in that case, the rule says that if you are that close to twenty two point five, then you should assume and should act accordingly. So what he should assume? He should assume that I am overtaking. what is he going to do the moment he assumes he is overtaking he is going to stay clear and steer clear okay that's why they said assume that you are overtaking you will not see these same wordings in the crossing they will never say assume you are crossing they will never use there there is no word to assume but in rule 13 they have told you because this is going to resolve the situation for better so if you are exactly at 22.5 and you are in doubt am i crossing am i overtaking should this vessel assume that you are overtaking and act accordingly why because in that case the moment you assume you are overtaking you are going to stay clear of this vessel and alter and pass clear of this vessel now even if this assumption is wrong and this vessel decides that no i am definitely crossing i am not going to consider myself in any doubt i am not going to consider myself as an overtaking what does this vessel going to do she can assume that she is a crossing vessel and she will stay clear in that case if it is a case when somebody is on your starboard side so either ways if she assumes she is being cross she, she is involved in a crossing situation she will also take action in along with you so both the vessels will try and take action but that will end up resolving the situation now for good or worse we'll come back to that but any time you are on the port side either you assume yourself overtaking or you assume yourself to be mind you power driven versus power driven huh? because we are talking about crossing here so if you are on the port quarter exactly at 22.5 irrespective of what you assume if you assume yourself overtaking you are supposed to stay clear if you assume yourself to be a crossing vessel you are supposed to stay clear 
as per the crossing rule as well provided you both are power driven vessels involved in overtaking as well as the crossing situation because the crossing situation rule 15 is applicable to vessels who are involved in a crossing situation to power driven vessels so power driven vessels also include cbds because cbds by their dna by their inherent nature and by their definition are power driven vessels the definition says a power driven vessel which because nature of a draft so remember cbd end of the day by its dna is a power driven vessel so if you are on the starboard side you are in doubt assume you are overtaking and take action the idea is to resolve the situation not to complicate it further and out at sea as well if you are in doubt assume you are overtaking and please if you are a overtaking vessel remember rule 2 the responsibility good seamanship okay rule remember action to take collision that if you are in doubt at sea whether you are overtaking please for god's sake stay clear of other vessels especially when you've got plenty sea room for some reason i see people love to come close and you want this vessel to go little to port you know you will always end up picking up the vhf and telling this vessel can you come to port also i'll go to little to starboard why you're overtaking vessel assume you're overtaking and stay clear now the last part any subsequent alteration of bearing now this is the most complicated part i'll read it aloud and then i'll explain it to you in basic like in simple terms what does it mean any subsequent alteration of the bearing between the two vessels shall not make the overtaking vessel a crossing vessel within the meaning of these rules or reliever of the duty of keeping clear of the overtaken vessel until she is passed and clear words bahut bade lekin kehna kya ja raha hai what does the rule implies the rule implies is now as you are coming ahead continuously the bearing is changing correct you are overtaking so the bearing is changing so that does not mean that once you come a beam of this vessel or ahead of the beam and if you alter your course then she is supposed to take action because now you have altered your course you are ahead of the beam no the rule says that if you are caught like when i first saw you if you were at more than 22.5 you will continue to be a uh, overtaking vessel until you are pass and clear but does that mean she can never cut across yes she can cut across once the risk of collision is over say for example if she is 5 miles ahead of me if then she alters course and passes to port passes ahead of us there is no problem but remember if there is any subsequent bearing change so when does any rule applies like i said these rules apply when you are in sight of each other so if i catch you by my sight the first time when you were at more than 22.5 you will be considered considered as an overtaking vessel and likewise if you see me and why does it puts onus mostly on the overtaking vessel also because of common sense guys people you will be more attentive to what is ahead of you so when you are a overtaking vessel you can see the other vessel much more easily by your radar by your by 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 visually much more easily the vessel which has which is having you on the stern will of course is by the rules is supposed to sight you but it will be on a practical basis much more easier for you we all know there are blind sectors because of the mast and all that won't be the case for a vessel which is ahead of you there are no usually no blind sectors ahead of your radar in most of the cases okay so that's why more onus is also put keeping this simple logic in mind so remember if you are a overtaking vessel you are overtaking this vessel just because there is a change in the bearing you come abeam now then you cannot say oh now i am abeam more than 22.5 only i was supposed to be overtaking now i am a crossing vessel i'll cut across of you and you take action and stick clear no if you want to cut across reduce your speed pass a stern or pass a stern even when you are before you are in uh, involved in a uh, you know risk of collision situation say like if you are 10 miles behind this vessel cut across go wherever you want to go and pass well clear but if you are involved in a situation where risk of collision exists you are supposed to stay clear of this vessel until you are passed and clear pass matlab jab tak aap clear nahi ho gaye jab tak risk of collision khatam nahi ho gaya tab tak you are duty bound as a overtaking vessel to stay clear of the vessel being overtaken to so, jis vessel ko aap overtake kar rahe hain just because of bearing change ho gayi hai you are coming up that does not give you that now i am no more overtaking the rule says more than 22.5 and i see this more often than not that vessels will continue to approach once they come abeam they will say i am not an overtaking vessel i am crossing you and especially as a overtaking vessel the rule is so clear stop picking up your vhf and calling the other vessel can you go a little bit to port and i have seen this even the passenger vessels doing it like some of they think they have got more right on they have a right to bigger cps just because they are passenger vessel passenger vessels end of the day passenger vessel is also a normal power driven vessel i have seen many a times when a power when a, when a passenger vessel is approaching they want large cps 
like five miles, three miles, like crazy. So they will alter, and at the same time they will also call. Can you also alter a little bit? And that's poor seamanship. That's not good practice of seamanship. And the rule requires you to also practice due diligence and good practice of seamanship, which is not to ask other. Thoda bhai port mein ho jayega, main thoda sa starboard mein le lunga. Bhai, jitna bhi starboard mein jaane, tujhe hi jaana hai. So coming back to the point, if you have any questions, so if you are a NUC, if you are a CBD overtaking. Another power driven vessel. You are supposed to stay clear. Why? Rule number 18 is not applicable. If you are a ram vessel overtaking a fishing vessel, rule number 18 does not apply. You are a and you if you are a CBD or if you are a restricted ability to maneuver ram vessel, well, if you cannot alter your course, you still have your speed. So reduce the speed, but you will have the onus of staying clear, keeping out of the way of the vessel being overtaken. Okay. So rule number 13 will supersede anything which is given in part B, section 1 and 2. If you are in a narrow channel, just because you are asking the permission from this vessel, can I overtake you from the port or starboard? And just because she gives you the permission to overtake, that does not relieve you. Kya, now you gave me the sound signal, I'm overtaking you. So now you also have to take some responsibility. Rule number 13 clearly says that section 1 and section 2, rule 13 will supersede but in restricted visibility there is nothing like a overtaking there is nothing like a head-on there is nothing like a crossing like the rule crossing you can describe the situation as crossing but not rule 15 is not applicable so remember rule 13 will supersede rule 12 so if you say that there are two sailing vessels one is overtaking the other does not matter which direction the wind is from which direction the drift is from the vessel which is going to overtake the other vessel the term is vessel it does not matter whether you are an NUC. I can still make an exception for NUC because rule number three is not a part of section B. It is a part of section A. And rule number three in the definition for NUC clearly states that the vessel is going through some exceptional circumstances and henceforth not able to maneuver or comply with the rules. But then this will go into the court of law because always there will be a question that if you are an NUC, not under command, what was the reason for you to be proceeding at such high speeds where you are overtaking other vessels? Assuming that you, you can overtake other vessel at three knots as well if the other vessel is doing one knot. So in a case of an NUC, it is also more about common sense. What if there are two NUCs overtaking each other? Ek NUC, dusre NUC ko overtake kar rahe. Well, there the rule number two will also apply good seamanship will apply it depends which NUC is having what kind of an emergency and what they can do best to resolve the situation but for all practical and 99 percent of your situation you can assume it okay so in case a ram vessel is being is involved anything with NUC well pretty much both are obliged to do whatever they can do best R ram will be more obliged because she still have she is restricted by the work she is doing. So she can stop that work, take the action. If that work doesn't allow her to alter the course, she can reduce the speed. If it doesn't allow reduction in speed, she can alter a little bit of the course, but whatever the best situation, best permits, because RAM also is not one term. There are different kinds of RAMs doing different kinds of work. So it will all depend what kind of situation you are exactly involved in. So that's going to finally decide. In that case, remember guys, as a case is in practical life, if there is a situation involved where the two vessels end up colliding, the responsibility and in any of the cases is always shared. It is never like tu pura galat tha bhai. Because a collision kabhi bhi kisi ek ki galti ki se nahi hota. Usme multiple factors hote hain aur dono ki galtiyan involved hoti hain. Dono vessels ki. Depend karta hai but koon sa vessel kitna galat tha. Maybe you are 5% wrong. So the liabilities also are always split. It is never like 100% payment. They can't tell us something like gross negligence of by one vessel and like absolutely nothing wrong by the other. Or literally, you speed and you are running away from that. If you are running away from that, you are Okay. So that was rule number 13. If you have got any questions related to, so when we take bearings, where should we aim? At the stern or superstructure or stem? Well, this is a good question. See, when the vessel is far away, it's like a point, it's small. So it's easier to take bearing. 
that is why in rule number uh, it's written you know uh, should not get confused by the size of the tug and tow because your bearing will change a tug and tow can be extended over a period of 1 nautical mile you know tow yahan par hai a tug yahan par hai aur tow wahan par hai to kya bearing loge aap bearing wo loge jo jo aapko sabse close milta hai because you are trying to resolve the situation not confuse the situation uh, i'll take the bearing from the stern because that suits me better you will take bearing which is the closest point of approach so if, if there is a crossing vessel why do you want to take the bearing from uh, stern why do you want to take the bearing from the center when she is far away it is more or less like a point it's much easier and then you will continue to monitor her likewise but once you fix a point you stick to that point agar aapne ek bar aage se liya ek bar center se liya ek bar stern se liya imagine kare jahaz cross kar raha hai pehla bearing yahan se liya dusra bearing yahan se liya teesra bearing yahan se liya what does it indicates me my bearing is opening but is my bearing opening no so once you start to target the vessel as a rather than a point but as, as a large object you fix to a single point and you take the closest point for the bearing because that is the error making on the safer side okay agar ye collide karega to yahan se pehle takrayega na to isko aap target karo but more often than not you will see radars taking it as a center point agar aap radar mein dekhenge agar aap arpa ko interrogate karenge if you interrogate your arka arpa she takes the center of the echo so theoretically you can take center of any vessel and continue to mark it as your bearing point because that's what even arpa does arpa never takes ahead or stern arpa takes right in the center the middle point so likewise when the vessel is far away it's anyways like a point once it becomes closer to you especially in case of a large target so there is no point you taking a bearing a stern or bearing forward you know in that case you have to fix a point and that point has to be the closest point of approach what will be that closest point of approach aap se aake tug takrayega uska tow to 1 mile piche ho sakta hai uska bearing leke kya karega bhai theek hai na but if you are in more of a risk and the tug is already past clear then maneuver that so practically ye cheez aapko dekhni padegi but arpa takes the center point you can take the center point of the vessel and continue to keep taking bearings and if that bearing changes whether it is opening or closing that is going to decide whether the risk of collision exists or it is already passed and over so that's my answer to you if you have got any other questions feel free to ask related to rule number 13 overtaking blah 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 i hope i have i am able to answer that correctly that's my point of view and that's my understanding you can have a different understanding because rules of the road are written by the lawyers and they are they are they are pretty much open to a debate they are not always yes and no at times they are just about understanding them better and what looks more correct than wrong you know sometimes both can be right but how right how correct can vary you are 20% right but majority of the things are correct on my part so they are not always like by a line yes and no right and wrong no sometimes both can be right but how correct they are that degree can vary okay so i don't think so you have got any other questions if you have got any questions related to rule number 13 feel free to ask just a quick recap recap remember it rule number 13 is applicable to section 1 and 2 and it will supersede anything which is written in section 1 and 2 so primarily if any situation which is given to you in narrow channel tss whatever is written in rule 13 will take precedence anything written in rule number 12 anything written in rule number 14 15 16 17 18 rule 13 will take precedence but in case of rule number 19 restricted visibility is rule number 13 applicable no rule number 13 is applicable only in sight of each other not in restricted visibility or in any condition of visibility except for restricted visibility but rules in any condition of visibilities are not rules of engagement they are more to resolve a situation or what you should do in case you are involved in a situation or you are in a particular area rule num uh, section 2 in particular is more about being in those situations it talks about crossing it talks about head on it talks about responsibility so that's that all right i don't think so aaj questions zyada hain last time kafi question aaye the to maza aaya tha so with those thoughts i think we can wrap up the live and the next one we are going to talk about will be rule 14 and 15 agli baar karenge taki overall live chhota rahe and you guys can come back and watch it so remember rule 13 ke key points hai that the vessel has to be coming at a direction more than 22.5 degrees above the beam if somebody tells you that you are exactly at 22.5 from the starboard beam well 
theoretically theoretically by the meaning of rules you are a crossing vessel only if you are more than 22.5 at a, above the beam i can tell you you are 22.6 by the meaning of the rules theoretically you are overtaking but the rule also says that if you are in doubt which will always be the case in these circumstances in real life because aapka bearing point can never be fixed jaise us bachche ne pucha so in that case you will assume that you are in doubt and you will assume that you are overtaking and take actions accordingly okay koi mujhse puch raha can i explain rule can i explain rule number 19 d part 1 with respect to rule 13 rule 13 is not applicable in rule 19 guys you don't have to think about rule 13 when you are talking about rule 19 rule 13 gaya out there is nothing you will consider with regards to rule 13 if you are talking about rule 19 aur agar aapko rule 19 samajhna hai तो मैंने ऑलरेडी उसके ऊपर वीडियो बना के डाला हुआ है प्लीज वॉच दैट वीडियो आई हैव एक्सप्लेन प्रिटी मच एवरीथिंग इन दैट लाइफ रिगार्डिंग रूल 19 बट 19 और 13 को आप कंपेयर करके नहीं देख सकते बिकॉज 19 के केस में 13 एप्लीकेबल ही नहीं है सो दैट आंसर्स योर क्वेश्चन ओके आई कैन नॉट कंपेयर बिकॉज थर्टीन इज नॉट एप्लीकेबल रूल नंबर नाइनटीन रूल नंबर थर्टीन इज अंडर वेसल एंगेज इन साइट ऑफ इच अदर नॉट इन रेस्ट्रिक्टेड विजिबिलिटी सो 19 D1 को आप विद रेस्पेक्ट टू 13 अगर समझेंगे तो हमेशा कंफ्यूज ही होते रहेंगे एनी थिंग रिलेटेड गिवन इन नाइन थर्टीन नाइनटीन इज नॉट हैज नथिंग टू डू विद वॉट इज गिवन इन थर्टीन वील ओवर पॉइंट इज अप्रोचिंग एंड आई एम सपोज टू ऑल्टर कोर्स बट अ वेसल इज ओवर टेकिंग ऑन द सेम साइड इफ इफ दैट इज द केस आइडली अगेन द रूल सेज दैट द वेसल हुज ओवर टेकिंग यू एंड योर वील ओवर पॉइंट इतना इंपॉर्टेंट क्यों है आपको आपका व्हील ओवर पॉइंट दैट्स व्हाट आई ऑलवेज आस्क ड्यूटी ऑफिसर्स थोड़ा जा अगर इफ देर इज एन एफ सी रूम अवेलेबल लेट दिस वेसल पास बाय इट ऑल डिपेंड्स आपका क्वेश्चन कंप्लीट इनकम्प्लीट है यू हैव नॉट गिवन मी द रेंज अगर राइट स्टर्न है तो घुस जाएगा भाई शी इज सपोज टू स्टे क्लियर बट हाउ कैन शी स्टे क्लियर इफ यू ऑल्टर टू वर्ड्स इट्स लाइक मैं रोड पर जा रहा हूं और आप मेरे को मारने के लिए भाग रहे हैं आप मुझसे तेज दौड़ते हैं आप मुझसे तगड़े हैं तो तो ऑब्वियसली मैं मार खाऊंगा ही ना मेरे भाई सो इन अचुएशन कहा है जहाज जब तू ऑल्टर कर रहा है यहां है यहां है यहां है दिख ही नहीं रहा है तो ऑल डिपेंड्स इफ इफ यू आर ऑलरेडी इन्वॉल्व इन रिस्क ऑफ कोलिजन रूल नंबर सेवन और एट भी वहां इसीलिए लिखे हुए हैं ठीक है ना एंड रूल नंबर थर्टीन विल सुपर सीड दम बट रिमेंबर वॉट शी इज सपोज टू स्टे आउट ऑफ द वे इफ यू अलाउ अर टू स्टे आउट ऑफ द वे इफ यू स्टार्ट ऑल्टरिंग टूवर्ड्स आर शी कैन कंटिन्यू टू ऑल्टर बट वॉट इफ यू ऑल्सो कंटिन्यू टू ऑल्टर एंड देर इज नो स्पेस ओनली बिटवीन द टू शिप्स सो यू लैंड ऑफ कोलाइडिंग so if you have a uh, if you have a wheel over point ahead either miss that wheel over point if there is sufficient sea room available if not if i assume you are coasting then your engines are going to be stand by reduce the speed let her overtake you quickly and pass turn of that vessel or if you have sufficient range 10 miles 5 miles then cross ahead before the risk of collision develops but why do you want to alter ahead of her when there is already a risk of collision just because and how much you are going to alter not 5 10 degrees you are going to cut across her ye kya karega Assuming there is lack of serum, तो lack of serum तो दोनों के लिए है ना तो उस केस में अगर तुम कोलाइड करोगे तो मैंने तुमको बोला इन दैट केस इट विल गो इन टू द कोर्ट ऑफ लॉ एंड इट विल बी डिसाइडेड हु वॉज मोर रॉन्ग बिकॉज बोथ वर रॉन्ग शी सपोज टू स्टे क्लियर बट वॉज नॉट एबल टू शी विल से दैट शी विल कंटेस्ट सिंग दैट आई वॉज आई ऑल्टर्ड आई वॉज पासिंग क्लियर बट शी ऑल्टर द वेरी लास्ट मोमेंट वॉट कैन आई डू सो दैट इट विल बिकम अ कोर्ट रूम ड्रामा रादर देन यस एंड नो सो दैट्स माई आंसर टू मेजोरिटी ऑफ योर क्वेश्चन और कोई क्वेश्चन आज किसी ने क्वेश्चन नहीं पूछा हुआ है यहाँ पर सो आई होप कैन आई रिड्यूस स्पीड एंड लेट अर टेक ओवर टेक मी यस ऑफकोर्स बाय प्रैक्टिस ऑफ गुड सीमेंशिप रिमेंबर रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी क्या बोलता है रूल वन टू थ्री इज स्टिल एप्लीकेबल ऑन यू रूल नंबर टू इज रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी तो एज अ पार्ट ऑफ रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी इज अवेंचुअल द अल्टीमेट रूल इज रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी एंड ऑल्सो गुड सीमेंशिप एक्शन एनी एक्शन टू अवॉइड कोलिजन ऑलवेज इंक्लूड्स गुड सीमेंशिप सो इफ यू नो बाय कॉमन सेंस आप रोड पे भी तो यही करते हैं अगर कोई गाड़ी आपके पीछे खड़ी है तो उसके सामने से काट देते हैं नहीं ना ब्रेक लगाते हैं उसको निकलने देते हैं उसके पीछे से निकल जाते हैं और जो करते हैं वॉल्टर फिर इस तरीके से कि घुमा दिया बिना देखे वो टकरा जाते हैं चौड़ाए पे एक्सीडेंट देखा होगा आपने सो हाई कैप्टन रवि हाउ आर यू सो यू कैन रिड्यूस स्पीड यस दिस इज दिस विल बी अजेस्टर मोर ऑन द पार्ट ऑफ गुड सीमेंशिप एंड गुड कॉमन सेंस एंड ड्यू डिलीजेंस रिमेंबर द वर्ल्ड ड्यू डिलीजेंस दैट विल ऑलवेज बी चेप ऑफ वाइड ऑन यू क्या आपने ड्यू डिलीजेंस नहीं दिखाया सिचुएशन को समझा नहीं यू मिस इंटरप्रिटेड द सिचुएशन सो एंड योर वील ओवर पॉइंट विल हैव नो मीनिंग इन द कोर्ट ऑफ लॉ स्पेशली आउट एट ओपन सी 
जहाँ यू हैव गॉट थाउजेंड्स ऑफ माइल्स एड ऑफ एंड यू से नहीं भाई मुझे वो दो डिग्री का ऑल्ट्रेशन दस डिग्री का लिए नहीं था सो दैट्स वाई आई ऑल्टर टू वर्ड्स इट विल हैव नो मीनिंग इन द कोर्ट ऑफ लॉ सो इफ यू गॉट सफिशियंसी रूम वाई डू वॉन्ट टू ऑल्टर स्पेशली वन यू आर ऑलरेडी इन्वॉल्व इन इसको आपको रीजन दादा वैसे इज ट्राइंग टू रिजॉल्व द सिचुएशन एंड यू आर ट्राइंग टू मेक इट मोर कॉम्प्लिकेटेड जस्ट बिकॉज शी इज सपोज टू स्टे क्लियर दैट डजेंट मीन इट गिव्स यू द राइट टू चैलेंज हिम और मेक इट कॉम्प्लिकेटेड ओके सो दैट्स माई आंसर टू यू फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन आई होप आई हैव आंसर्ड यू करेक्टली एंड यू आर सेटिस्फाइड इफ नॉट आई थिंक यू कैन डू सम मोर रिसर्च ऑन इट बिकॉज आई मे नॉट बी करेक्ट ऑल द टाइम बट दिस इज वॉट माई अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द रूल इज वॉट एल्स ऑल क्लियर सर ओके जैंत आई होप आई एम एबल टू आंसर यू आई होप आई एम एबल टू आंसर कई चीजें ऐसी होंगी जो मुझे नहीं पता होंगी भाई मैं मना कर दूंगा बिकॉज आई एम नॉट एन एक्सपर्ट दिस इज वॉट माई अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द रूल इज वेरी डिबेट वेरी मच डिबेटेबल एंड आई कैन बी incorrect as well if given on the thought so what else do you want to ask if not then we'll wrap up the live today and thanks a lot for joining in that case last one minute and we are wrapping up come on thoda rule of the road ka us din itne sare questions puche hain you see overtaking cbd mujhe lagta hai us din sare answer ho gaye to aaj dobara se wo answer karke fayda nahi hoga come on come on come on मुसाफिर आकाश थैंक यू थैंक्स अलॉट आई कौन 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 एनी क्वेश्चन एनी मोर क्वेश्चन गाइज चलो तो फिर विद दैट विल रैप अप द लाइफ टुडे आई डोंट थिंक सो सर बहुत आ गया क्वेश्चन निकल कूल क्रेडिट्स का गया व्हाट इफ ओवरटेकिंग वेसल इज नॉट टेकिंग एक्शन एट व्हाट डिस्टेंस वेसल बीइंग ओवरटेकन शुड टेक एक्शन व्हाट इफ ओवरटेकिंग वेसल ओके व्हाट इफ ओवरटेकिंग वेसल इज नॉट टेकिंग एक्शन एट व्हाट डिस्टेंस वेसल बीइंग ओवरटेकिंग शुड टेक एक्शन देयर इज नेवर अ गिवन रेंज और अ नंबर Uh, I think for that you need to watch my live on safe speed. So if the overtaking vessel is not taking any action, then by rule number two, responsibility, you can take action. You can take action as to best aid to resolve the situation. Now, by common sense, if there is someone who is trying to overtake you from the starboard side, falls in really close to you, continues to maintain her course and speed, not taking any action, well, there are two very uh, two very simple uh, options you have in that that case if you are out at uh, uh in that case if you are being challenged on the starboard side go to the port or reduce speed now what range well the range depends what is the minimum cpa prescribed in your company's sms so if your company wants you to maintain two nautical miles of cpa so you will take the alteration or reduction in speed to achieve that cpa So, and there are different cpas out at sea in coastal waters in narrow channels so to comply with that action with that cpa you have you have to take an action accordingly so that is my answer to you isme koi aap range nahi le sakte because generally companies range deti hain but that is a very vague idea that not less than 6 mile a vessel if you any action to take collision should be taken at in case of head on minimum at 8 uh, miles or if she is a crossing minimum 10 whatever minimum cpa with a crossing to be 3 for other situation 2 depending on the company but there is no prescribed range i would say but i would say take an early action i would say theoretically i would if i see that vessel not taking any action up and she is overtaking if she is overtaking me until say like 5 miles 4 miles because remember relative approach so overtaking gives me a lot of time to take action as a vessel who's being overtaking so typically i would say if she is not taken action till in an out at sea until 5 or 4 nautical miles then i'll really start to consider altering the course and just getting clear of the vessel rather than waiting for her because it won't take much of an alteration because both the vessels are but remember guys overtaking takes a lot of time to resolve get resolved why because you both are maneuvering in the same direction so practically it, it happens a lot in english channel where you see somebody coming really close to you and then continue and then going across like this just reduce your speed 
the, reduce your speed let this guy continue don't try and sit and waste your time in explaining him the rule don't try and explain uh, like you know picking up that vhf there is a reason you have taken the engines on standby this is the reason pull that stick come to dead slow don't go to half or something why because it will take more the lesser change in the speed the more time it takes to resolve the situation and remember any changes in the speed takes a lot of time so agar tum full ahead se half ahead pe aaoge 10 minute aur fir wapas full pe chale aaoge not going to resolve you know this bugger is troubling you just come to dead slow come to slow ahead let the speed change be rather quick the more the faster the change in speed the earlier this situation is going to resolve so in narrow waters in case of overtaking i will prefer a action which will involve both speed and course both if i have got no room to maneuver i will immediately take a bold alteration in speed that means if i am typically full ahead i'll come to dead slow depending on how quickly i am losing speed i might come to slow ahead at best and wait till the time this vessel is gone past and clear and then i'll pick up speed again if i have room to maneuver alteration of course as actions to avoid collision suggest and i'll just take a bold alteration of course to port and just stay clear there is no, nothing which stops me from going to port if there is sufficient sea room and like i said if she is coming from the starboard side whether she assumes she is crossing whether she assumes she is overtaking she is supposed to keep clear but if she is not taking any action then as a power driven to power driven vessel i'll go i'll alter my course to starboard and stay clear so i hope i have managed to answer you with some understanding and i hope you understand aur agar main galat hu to aap aur if you think you have a better idea then feel free to mention it in the comment section your comments are welcome so that's my understanding of this situation which can be which may not be the best action but this is what i would have done in this situation you can do things differently but so far as you are doing things within the meaning of these rules and not against or something which contravenes the rule okay so i hope i am able to answer that if not then i'm really sorry guys because mere ko bhi ye rules padhe hue like zamana bit gaya to thoda thoda kai bar fumble kar jata should we sound five short and rapid blast in that case yes yes before taking the action you can sound five short and rapid yes definitely in fact wo hamara favorite action hota hai go to action hota hai five short and rapid and it actually works so time rehte hue when you see at around 5 miles 5 and a half miles 4 miles she is not taking any action just give five short and rapid blasts on your whistles as well as on the light signal not just on the ship's whistle because whistle ka range is only 2 nautical miles so in that case she has to be either you are assuming her to be at 4 nautical miles so 4 nautical miles remember your sound signal may not even reach to her because typically the range of a sound signal is 2 nautical miles so i will rather suggest use your sound signal along with a light signal use your ld's lamp or your maneuvering light which is on the bridge the range of a maneuvering light is typically up to 6 nautical miles so that will be much easily available to the vessel especially in the night time okay especially if there is choppy weather windy so you he may not be able to listen to your sound signal but make sure whenever you are giving any sort of sound signals you follow it up with a sound signal or accompany it with a with a with a light signal sorry correct i'll just correct myself sound signal should always be coupled with a light signal because the range of your ld's lamp your maneuvering light is much more than your sound signal the sound signal will typically go up to 2 nautical miles your light your maneuvering light by the meaning of these rules should go as far as up to 6 nautical miles 6 or 5 i can i can be wrong i need to check but anyways give or take 5 nautical miles is definitely more than 2 nautical miles so I'm any day given to trade, but हमें साउंड सिग्नल पसंद होता है क्योंकि वो हमारे सर पे बचता है इट अलर्ट अस बट रिमेम्बर अ लाइट सिग्नल इन टर्म्स ऑफ रेंज कवर्स अलॉट मोर डिस्टेंस कंपेयर टू अउंड सिग्नल एंड इट कैच इज दटेंशन अटेंशन मच फास्ट स्पेशली इन द नाइट इफ यू सी समथिंग ब्लिंकिंग स्पेशली इन द मिडल ऑफ सी इट कैच इज योर अटेंशन लाइक दैट एंड इट ऑलवेज वर्क सो रिमेम्बर बिफोर पिकिंग अप द वी एच एफ पिक अप दैट एल डी स्लैम बिकॉज द रूल्स वॉन्ट्स यू टू डू दैट come to the vhf as your last means of resort and rather avoid it is not going to resolve a situation which has already been created because of your misunderstanding rather it will build on to that under- misunderstanding and it will continue to grow you can take an action go hard to starboard or hard to port but resolve the situation rather than wasting time in explaining him the meaning of these rules like this life but as per rule number 13 captain since said don't get into that Okay. Anything else? 
आई थिंक आई हैव आंसर्ड प्रिटी मच एवरी थिंग वॉट यू आस्ट मी वेल आंसर्ड सर कैन वी साउंड फाइव शॉर्ट एंड रेपिड या स्कूल कैडेट्स ने इसका आंसर बहुत अच्छा करा है मैं भूल गया था लाइक आई सेट पूरे रूल्स नहीं पड़े हुए हैं बट एक एक पर्टिकुलर रूल कवर कर रहा हूं तो कई बार आगे पीछे हो जाता हूं दिस इज द करेक्ट आंसर फाइव शॉर्ट एंड रैपिड फर्स्ट देन द एक्शन बिकॉज द रूल सजेस्ट दैट पहले उसको ट्राई एंड अलर्ट हिम ट्राई एंड कैच इज अटेंशन और रिमाइंड हिम पोलाइट रिमाइंड है भाई जाग जा सो कैन वी साउंड सिग्नल इन मिडल ऑफ नाइट इंस्टेड ऑफ ऑल डिस लैम वाई डू वॉन्ट टू डू दैट मुदगल योर साउंड सिग्नल लाइक आई एक्सप्लेन और किसने बोला है कि रात में साउंड सिग्नल नहीं चलाना चाहिए साउंड सिग्नल तो आप कभी भी यूज कर सकते हैं एज एन वेन यू डीम इट नेसेसरी एंड इट इज रिक्वायर्ड बाय यू नो बडी स्टॉप्स यू डे और नाइट बट लाइक आई सजेस्टेड द साउंड सिग्नल हैज गॉट मच मोर रेंज इट विल कम अर मच मोर डिस्टेंस एंड योर योर आइडिया इज टू अलर्ट द अदर पर्सन एज अर्ली एज पॉसिबल सब्सटांशियल टाइम यू नो दे ऑलवेज से वेन टेकिंग एक्शन शुड बी टेकन इन सब्सटांशियल टाइम अप्रेजिंग द सिचुएशन सो द अर्लियर यू डू इट the better it is for you it gives you and the other person more time to think and appraise the situation so like i said you are free to use the sound signal but always couple it up with a light signal it is going to resolve the situation much early because it is going to cover far more distance not supplemented you can accompany with it because majority of your ships you will see your 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 maneuvering light is is coupled with your sound signal so just switch on that maneuver uh, maneuvering light and you will see that as the horn goes your maneuvering light is in tandem with it it's 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 going on and off along with your sound signal if that's not the case your sound signals can be given by your av or some other guy on the bridge and you can use the five shot and rapid so i would say couple them together if for some unknown circumstances you are the only sole watch keeper and your maneuvering light is not coupled which is i have not seen at least at least in this dna age so in that case yes give the sound signals start your bhapu and at the same time fire fire five shot and rapid on your all this lamp or your maneuvering light by all means nobody is stopping you to do that kai logo ko badi apprehension hoti hai ki main sound signal chala dun log uthna jaye <laughs> इस रीजन का ये रीजन नहीं होना चाहिए साउंड सिग्नल ना देने के लिए हाँ अगर कोई आगे काम कर रहा है फॉक्सल पे तो ऑफ कोर्स एज अ गुड सीमेनशिप प्रैक्टिस अगेन एंड ड्यू डिलीजेंस पिक अप योर वॉकेट ओके एंड टेल देम टू इधर वॉकेट द प्लेस और यूज देयर इयर मॉफ्स ओके डोंट गो अबाउट हॉन्गिंग ऑन टॉप ऑफ देयर हेड और ये काफी होता है अराइवल स्टेशन पे जहां पायलट बोलता है ओके वन लॉन्ग ब्लास्ट एंड ध्यान नहीं रहता और लाइक बॉ आगे वाले बेचारे गाली दे रहे होते हैं फिर ओके okay. स्पर्श ने पूछा है पीएस उन्होंने पूछा है कि ये कि पायलट लेडर्स के बीच का डिस्टेंस मार्क होना चाहिए कहा लिखा है वेल इट इज गिवन इन द स्टैंडर्ड्स इफ यू गो एंड रीड द स्टैंडर्ड रिक्वायरमेंट और इफ यू गो ऑन द आईएमपीए वेबसाइट ऑन द कंस्ट्रक्शन स्टैंडर्ड्स ऑफ अ पायलट लेडर इट इज क्लियरली स्टेटेड दैट अ पायलट लेडर शुड बी मार्क एवरी वन मीटर रिगार्डिंग द डायमेंशन ऑफ द स्टेप्स ऑल्सो आई थिंक द Uh, the the construction the iso standards mentions it i'm not very sure about it but if at all it is there then it will be mentioned in the iso standards which are tabulated for pilot letters that what should be the strength of the rope what should be the strength of the steps what should be the strength and thickness so all that is given whether it should be marked or not for 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 distance every 1 meter there should be a marking is definitely given the crimp contains certain details it contains a certificate number blah 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 that also that is usme size of the step is included or not that you have to verify but if you go to ampa web page you should be able to find your answer and i think it is required because the psc is usually reasonable when they put something on the record so i think you will either find it in the iso standards uh, iso standards for construction of pilot ladders or at the ampa web page which is the official uh, which is one of the websites where you get these pilot ladder posters and quite a in depth review about how pilot ladders should be rigged so on and so forth so i hope i am able to answer you sparsh do not in context of the live so that said i think we'll wrap up the live today final review rule number 13 is only applicable when you are in sight of each other it is going to supersede the rules which are given in section 1 and section 2 so rule number 13 will supersede rule number 18 rule number 12 rule number 15 rule number 14 rule number 9 and rule number 10 so remember if it comes to confusion just remember rule number 13 and think what rule number 13 tells you to do the rule number 
13 in its nutshell tells you if you are an overtaking vessel, stay the fuck out of somebody else's way. To keep it simple, okay? And you are only deemed to be overtaking when you are coming up at a direction, theoretically, more than 22.5 degrees above their beam. So if somebody tells you you are exactly 22.5, exactly 22.5 no changes in bearing steady bearing blah 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 then why i am not overtaking i am a crossing vessel and depending whether i'm on the starboard or on the port and whether both the vessels are power driven or not will it will depend on that whether i'll in that case take go about taking an action or whether i'll be a stand on vessel or i'll wait for the other vessel to take action whether i will sound five short and rapid so on and so forth and during the night time if you see the stern light of the vessel by all means you are overtaking if you see the side light then you are overtaking and if you see the side light then you are crossing and if you see side light and the stern light then you are in a situation where you are in doubt in that case you will assume that you are overtaking and act accordingly and remember any subsequent changes in the bearing a subsequent change does not make this vessel a crossing vessel that means just because it has changed the bearing it is moving ahead continue and then it can come and alter ahead of you saying that oh now i became a crossing vessel it is not permitted within the meaning of these rules. Chalo, Spursh, thanks a lot for your lovely comments and all you guys for your lovely comments. Aap logo ne baut praise kara, usse mujhe bhi kafi motivation rehta hai life pe aake, life karne ka. 11 baj chuke, time to finish my workout and time to have my dinner after that. Karte karte, saadhe baata, ek baj jayenge. Weekend hai kal Saturday, so I'm planning to wake up a little early than usual taaki thoda bhaar ka mahol ek ke aa saken thoda sa घूम घाम के आ सके रील्स बना सके हफ्ते में एक रील तो डालनी होती है भाई वो भी तो आप लोग देखते हैं थैंक्स अलॉट फॉर ऑल योर लव ऑल योर लवली कमेंट्स ऑन द रील्स जितना छोटा पेज है उससे काफी ज्यादा आउटरीच मिल जाती है आप लोगों की वैसे तो थोड़ा सा अंदर का बच्चा मेरा भी जाग जाता है लाइक आई फील अ लिटिल एक्साइटेड टू सी दोज नंबर्स बिकॉज आइडली हम सी फेयरस की कम्युनिटी काफी छोटी है सो आई डोंट एक्सपेक्ट माई काइंड ऑफ कॉन्टेंट टू get the kind of outreach I get but I think it is just because you guys love the page unconditionally and you share the content uh, I have not been very keeping very regular on the DMs so I am extremely sorry if I haven't reverted to your DMs I don't get the time guys honestly and uh, but I try and do these lives I, I try and uh, uh, stay in touch with you guys as much as possible through these lives so with those thoughts we'll wrap up the live thanks a lot for joining today and I hope to see you on my next I'll try and cover rule number 14 and 15 hopefully hopefully either tomorrow or day after so join me until such time take good care of yourself do whatever you want to do man but do not trouble your mother and bharat mata man take care of yourself and i'll see you on the next or agar ship sailors unil ko follow nahi karte ho to unko zaroor follow karo apne hi partner hai theek hai na makes good content theek hai and we'll be joining you guys very soon See you on the next slide. Take care.